My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. One of the most iconic collector cars ever is the 63 Corvette. I would say the 57 Chevy, 59 Cadillac, 63 Corvette. My dad was selling these when they were just used cars and I used to ride in the back of them. And I'm telling you what, they never go down in value. They just keep going up, 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 and up. A sure, safe investment. This one here is a really good, honest car. I'll tell you all about it, but it's a good, clean, honest car. The doors click shut. It's a factory red on red power window car. Numbers match 340 horsepower, number match four speed, and original 411 Posi rear. It's got a lot going for it. Go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and that's where you find prices on over 200 of the collector cars that we offer for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. And no, you don't have to ride in the back. I don't think I'd fit back there anymore myself. Uh, underneath the car, well, first of all, the car, when I said it's honest, it's a, a good, clean, honest car, straight, fits nice. There's an oil change sticker on the other door from uh, Phillips 76 or, yeah, 76. Anyway, the oil change sticker is from 1983, and it's only had about four or 5,000 miles put on it since then. Underneath the car is original. I don't even think it's ever been spray canned over. So it's not off the frame, it's not glossy, it's original, but really nice. There's no damage in the fiberglass that I had seen. The frame is rock solid, never spray painted. The floors are still the raw fiberglass. It has the spare tire carrier is all complete in the back. Now 63 was the first year, independent suspension front and back. Uh, you look up at the motor, that is clean, it has been repainted, has the correct screw-on canister oil filter. Uh, the four-speed transmission actually has a VIN number matching. Only the Corvettes got the VIN number stamped on them because they were stolen a lot more back then. And then in back, it has the 411 rear end. It's dated 1963, has the code CE, uh, and that's correct for this car. It's drum brakes all the way around. The car runs, drives, steers, stops really well. The fellow that we got it from has owned it seven or eight years, doesn't really know much of the history. I really have this good feeling that this is just a good, honest car. I know enough about cars uh, where that's what my gut's telling me. If you want to have a Corvette expert look at it, feel free. Uh, matter of fact, there was a gentleman here this morning with his books and he was crawling all around the car. Uh, he actually said this was a really good car. We just didn't come together on price. Uh, but the body is in really nice shape. These doors, they have to fit all the way around, not just in front and back, but they have to fit all the way around and these are fantastic. Check this out. It's my pinky. Uh, I didn't do it hard enough. They just shut so nice. That hood fits perfectly square and flush. It's got the body uh, bonding strips underneath there. I looked all around the jam. I don't see any rivets or anything that's uh, not supposed to be there. Like I said, I'm not a Corvette expert, but I know enough about these cars where I think it's, it's really good. Uh, no significant damage. There's no you know, real cracking anywhere in the body itself. Not even around the wheel well, this is clean right here. There is a crack in the hood and a few cracks, but this is in the paint. Not necessarily in the fiberglass, but in the paint. The headlight buckets fit nice and square. They do work. The bumpers sit level when you stand back and look at them. The bumpers on the car from right here, they look brand new, but they're an eight out of 10. They're little freckles if you get up close. The emblems have a little patina. These look really nice shape. <clears throat> uh, this is all in real nice shape. The windshield's 
really clear and all the stainless trim is straight and polished and the wiper arms are straight and polished. Uh, a little nick, a little imp imperfection here or there. I think some of the weather strips are original, like this piece here, there's a little bit of red overspray. I don't know if it's ever been off. Uh, so again, I'm just seeing things that makes me believe good original car. Correct hubcaps in really nice shape. The rims are painted black. Uh, Tiger Paw tires, they look in excellent shape. The door weather strip, I'm sure, is new because that's real nice and soft. The door panels are mint. They were black. They were dyed red. Uh, they're in excellent shape. Maybe at the time when they replaced them, maybe red ones weren't available. But honestly, I, I'm just being really honest by telling you that they used to be black. You won't know by looking at them. Uh, the armrests, the handles, all that's really nice. It's got the smallest trunk in the world. That's in nice shape. Has the correct antenna. Uh, again, the bumpers are nice. Right here is what makes it famous. One year only split window Corvette. Factory red interior according to the tag. Carpet front to back is all new and it's all installed real nicely. The seats are reupholstered, has new red seat belts. The dash pads are excellent. The whole instrument panel is excellent. The 340 horsepower comes with a higher revving engine. So the TAC red lines is 6,500. That's correct. And the uh, oil gauge is 80 pounds. Those two things are correct for a 340 horse. Steering wheel's real nice. Has original radio. 63 only. The glove box door was like a clear laminate plastic. Uh, and that's what this has with just some really fine age cracks if the light hits it the right way. But that's a correct glove box door for 63 only. Now the engine is the number match motor, the codes, the castings, uh, the stampings all look really proper to me. It has the brooch marks. 340 horse has the aluminum intake. This has the right finned aluminum valve covers. Correct air cleaner, but the chrome looks new. It has all the shielding, the oil filler tube, clutch fan looks new. Uh, alternator looks correct with the big heavy pulley. Matter of fact, these are deep groove pulleys because it's a higher revving engine. Stock exhaust manifolds, has the Harrison expansion tank, uh, spring clamp battery cables with the disconnect. So just really nice and proper and clean. I don't see like broken fiberglass or anything that looks funny. All looks really good in here. That hood fits perfectly square. Door shut beautifully. So there you have it, a red on red, 340 horse, four speed, 411 posi, power windows, numbers matching. I think it's a good virgin body. Send your Corvette experts out. I'd be surprised if they tell you otherwise. Uh, you got a good, good car here. And you can't overpay for a 63 vet. You might be buying it a little too soon, meaning they just go up and up and up. And this is a good one. So visit volocars.com because I just gave you my opinion. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salespeople. If you, uh, <clears throat> uh, if you have questions or concerns, discuss it with them. The reason I, I stalled for a second, actually how I found out about this was from CC Corvette. This guy's been redoing Corvettes for 40 years. He said a customer of mine has this really good Corvette uh, and he referred this Corvette to me. So that's coming from an expert, someone I trust completely, uh, gave this car a big thumbs up, a Corvette expert. But anyway, salesmen can help you. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help get you financed. That's at volocars.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you'll be first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.